Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. And we are pleased to be joined by Indiana head baseball coach, Jeff Mercer. Uh, how's it going, coach? I'm great. I'm great. How are you, Casey? I'm doing well, Jeff. Um, just kind of going into uh, this season, I know that it starts this week. Uh, how excited are you guys to, uh, to talk about that? No, it, it's uh, it's obviously always a thrilling time when you get to get a chance to start a new season and have a new team and, and kind of begin your own chapter and your own journey. And and, and this is a really good group of, of good kids that worked really hard. So uh, obviously just the beginning of a long journey, but but it's always fun and exciting to watch the kids be excited to get to go again and, and, and go compete with their buddies. Yeah. Talk about, all right, take me around the diamond. Uh, tell me who's going to be out there for the Hoosiers this year. Well, behind the plate, we're, we're actually in a good spot. You know, I feel fortunate <clears throat> for us to have three guys that we feel, feel good about with Pete Cerruto and Matt Ellis and, and Brock Tibbetts being a freshman, um, Matt and Pete being uh, kind of the elder statesman, but Brock's a really, really fine player as well. So those three guys behind the plate, <clears throat> Brock's got some versatility, can go out and play different positions. And Brock will slide in at first base along as with, with Kid Futures at first. And Tyler Dones will play second base. Philip Glasher will play shortstop. <clears throat> in all likelihood, Josh Pine will, will start the season at third base. Josh has had a really nice winter in, in early spring. Um, but there's some other guys in that can really compete. You know, um, Evan Goforth has done a tremendous job. So I would imagine Evan will be in there as well, either third base or in the middle of the diamond somewhere. Max Johnson's a talented player, had some injuries, but but is back and, and doing fine. So I'd imagine we would start that way with with Futures at first and Dones at, at, at second, Glasser at short, probably Pine at third, with Tibbetts potentially at, at first base or in left. Left field's a little bit of a <clears throat> of a by committee right now with Ethan Verkrumba and uh, Carter Matheson in left field, as well as Brock Tibbetts sliding into left matchups, left and right. Bobby Whalen in center field and then Morgan Colopy and right. So obviously, as you know, at the beginning of the season starts, you're, you kind of make your plans and, and then within about 10 minutes, those plans uh, get turned upside down and you have to make adjustments. So, you know, I, I think between the combination of those guys, we're, we're in a good position to put together a competitive group on the position player side. Okay. So I know I've talked to, uh, I've talked to a lot of the big 10 coaches um, throughout the last few weeks and, you know, they, I've all, you know, obviously everybody knows what happened last year, you know, and obviously playing non-conference teams and you caught a big opponent coming up this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's uh, it, it, this is the best way to prepare a team. Uh, you, you look at how the, the season is, is a journey and it is, and I know it's cliche, but you have to prepare a team to go and play its best baseball in the last month or six weeks, right? That's, it, that's where we all want to play. Well, that's where the most impactful and meaningful games are at is in the last, several weeks to, uh, to, to a month there. And, and a big part of that is putting guys and putting the, the players in an environment where they can, it will replicate that feeling late in the season. Well, you're only gonna get that by playing someone that's as talented or more talented or as good or, or better than you in an environment that will replicate that kind of stress and emotional elevation. You, you have to be put in those environments and not putting our guys in those environments last year was, was to their detriment, it was. And, so the opportunity for us right now to go out and play and, and get back to normal and do these things will, uh, will, will benefit the guys, regardless of what happens in the first couple of weeks for everyone, regardless of what happens, you're, you're, you're building a base and a foundation in the group of emotional stability that will, that will serve them later in the year uh, in a positive manner. Having been there before, experience um, is, is critical as we go through these journeys. Yeah. Um, where do you think the conference is at right now in terms of baseball and strength? Well, you know, last year was a really strong season. The, the, the conference was very, very talented. You look at that professional draft. Was, we were impacted in a heavy way, not just Indiana, but the conference from top to bottom was, was very, very talented and, and very deep. And so you look at how, how does that resonate into this year, right? Losing, losing a lot of players to the draft. It's, it's an interesting year for the – for the conference from the standpoint of you're going to see a lot of young players have to step in talented young players the big 10 has recruited overall uh, at a much higher clip in the last five or seven years than before and, and now we haven't tracked we haven't tracked you know there haven't been recruiting services to track those things but you, you we've been around and you can see with the eye test when 
you know, you know, guys step into the field and, and do things like Max Anderson did last year and the things that, you know, Cade Kern did it, did at Ohio State. Some of those guys step in. Those guys weren't always um, stepping in the way they are currently speaking. So I know that there are terrific coaches in the Big Ten. And there are, there are where there are terrific coaches, there are terrific players, players that are well-prepared, programs that are well-prepared to, to compete at a national level. So I, I do feel strong about the conference and I'm, I, I, do, I am excited about it. It will be, it will be interesting to see, you know, some of the young guys have to step forward after the draft uh, really impacted them, the majority of the clubs in a, in a significant way. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. What do you think you guys need to do? And if, if you can get better in one area of your team, whether it's pitching, whether it's hitting or something like that, where do you think that is? All of it. No, uh, no I, I think that's, you know, as a coach, that's where you're always kind of looking at is like the, uh, what are the, what are the disqualifying aspects of your team? I think right now it's just the, the cohesiveness and the experience together. Uh, you know, we, we've got talented players across the board, but it is a, it is a different team. It's a new team, and, and it, but it's a talented group. So how do they respond together? How do they handle some of the adversity that, that will most certainly come? Because they're talented enough to, to be very good. Uh, and then we need, we, we need the, the, you look at the last two drafts we've had, our Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and our closure drafted. And so when you lose eight arms consecutively like that, you, there's a lot of roles obviously up for, for grabs now. And, and so we've got a talented staff, but guys that haven't thrown in those roles and guys that haven't experienced what it's like to take the ball in those environments. And, and so I would say probably just experience on the mound, getting in those environments and, and going competing. So I, I, I do feel confident about the ability. I feel confident about the work that the guys have put in, but it's just an, it's an unproven group from the standpoint of actually doing it together uh, as one unit, but I don't have any doubts that they'll find their way together to do those things. All right. Well, Jeff Mercer, thank you so much uh, um, for talk, coming on and talking with us and uh, good luck this season. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.